Amidbar, or Numbers 33 through 34. These are the departures of the children of Israel who went out of the land of Mitzrayim by their divisions under the hand of Moshe and Aaron. And Moshe wrote down the starting points of their departures at the mouth of Yahavah, and these are their departures according to their starting points. So, they departed from Ramses in the first new moon, on the 15th day of the first new moon, on the morrow of the Pesach. The children of Israel went out with boldness before the eyes of all the Mitzrites, and the Mitzrites were burying all their firstborn, whom Yahovah had stricken among them. Also on their mighty ones, Yahovah had executed judgments. Then the children of Israel departed from Ramses and camped at Sukkot. And they departed from Sukkot and camped at Etham, which is on the edge of the wilderness. And they departed from Etham and turned back to Pi Haaroth, which is east of Baal Siphon. And they camped near Migdal. And they departed from before Haaroth and passed over through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and camped at Mara. And they departed from Mara and came to Elim, and Elim were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there. And they departed from Elim and camped by the Sea of Reeds, and they departed from the Sea of Reeds and camped in the wilderness of Sin. And they departed from the wilderness of Sin and camped at Dovqua. And they departed from Dovqua and camped at Alush. And they departed from Alush and camped at Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. And they departed from the wilderness of Sinai and camped at Kibroth Hata Awa. And they departed from Kibroth. Hata'awa, and camped at Hatzeroth. And they departed from Hatzeroth and camped at Rithma. And they departed from Rithma and camped at Ramon Peretz. And they departed from Ramon Peretz and camped at Libna. And they departed from Limna and camped at Risa. And they departed from Risa and camped at Kehela Ba. And they departed from Kehelatha and camped at Mount Shafer. And they departed from Mount Shafer and camped at Harada. And they departed from Harada and camped at Macheloth. And they departed from Macheloth and camped at Tahath. And they departed from to Hoth and camped at Terah, and they departed from Terah and camped at Mithqua, and they departed from Mithqua and camped at Hashmonah, and they departed from Hashmonah and camped at Moseroth, and they departed from Moseroth and camped at Benaya Achan, and they departed from Benaya Achan and camped at Hor Hagedad God, they departed from Hor Hagedad and camped at Yat Batha. And they departed from Yat Batha and camped at Abrana. And they departed from Abrana and camped at Etzion Geber. And they departed from Etzion Geber and camped in the wilderness of Sin, which is Kadesh. And they departed from Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor on the boundary of the land of Eden. And Aaron the priest went up to Mount Hor at the mouth of Yahovah and died there in the 40th year after the children of Israel had come out of the land of Mitzrayim on the first day of the fifth new moon. Now Aaron was 123 years old when he died on Mount Hor. And the sovereign of Arad, the Canaanite who dwelt in the south land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. So they departed from Mount Hor and camped at Salmonah. And they departed from Salmonah and camped at Punan. They departed from Punan and camped at Uboth. 
and they departed from Aboth and camped at Ai Ha Abarim, at the border of Moab. And they departed from Ayim and camped at Dabon Gad. And they departed from Dabon Gad and camped at Alman Diblathayimah. And they departed from Alman Diblathayimah and camped in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abarim and camped in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yeriho. And they camped at the Yarden from Beth Yishamoth as far as the Abel Shittim in the desert plains of Moab. And Yehovah spoke to Moshe in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yeriho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you've passed over the Yarden into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you and shall destroy all their engraved stones and shall destroy all their molded images and lay waste all their high places. And you shall possess the land and dwell in it, for I have given you the land to possess. And you shall divide the land by lot as an inheritance among your clans. To the larger you give a larger inheritance, and to the smaller you give a smaller inheritance. Wherever the lot falls to anyone, that's his. You inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. And if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall trouble you in the land where you dwell. And it shall be that I do to you as I thought to do to them. Chapter 34 And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Command the children of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land of Canaan, this is the land which falls to you as an inheritance the land of Canaan to its boundaries. Then your southern border shall be from the wilderness of Tsin, along the border of Edom, and to your southern border shall be eastward from the end of the Salt Sea. Then your border shall turn from the southern side of the ascent of Akrabim, continue to Tsin, and be on the south of Kadesh Barnea, and it shall go on to Hatsaradar and continue to Atzmon. And the border shall turn from Atzmon to the Wadi of Mitzrayim, and it shall end at the sea. As for the western border, you shall have the great sea for a border. This is your western border. And this is your northern border. From the great sea, you mark out your borderline to Mount Hor. And from Mount Hor, you mark out your border to the entrance of Hamath. And the edge of the border shall be toward Sedad. And the border shall proceed to Ziphron, and it shall end at Hatsaranan. This is your northern border. And you shall mark out your eastern border from Hatsaranan to Shepham. And the border shoots shall go down from Shaphan to Riblah on the east side of Ayin. And the border shall go down and reach the eastern side of the Sea of Kinnereth. And the border shall go down along the Yarden and shall end at the Salt Sea. This is your land with its surrounding boundaries. Then Moshe commanded the children of Israel, saying, this is the land which you inherit by lot, which Yahovah has commanded to give to the nine tribes and to the half-tribe, for the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fa fathers, have received their inheritance. And the half-tribe of Manasseh has received its inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance beyond the Yarden of Yeriho, eastward toward the sunrise. 
And Yehovah spoke to Moshe, saying, These are the names of the men who divide the land among you as an inheritance. Eleazar the priest, and Yehoshua son of Nun. And take one leader of every tribe to divide the land for the inheritance. And these are the names of the men. From the tribe of Yehuda, Caleb, son of Yafuna. And from the tribe of the children of Shimon, Shemuel, son of Amihud. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Eladad, son of Kislon. And a leader from the tribe of the children of Dan, Buki, son of Yogli. From the sons of Yosef, a leader from the tribe of the children of Manasseh, Haniel, son of Ephod. And a leader from the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Kemuel, son of Shiftan. And a leader from the tribe of the children of Zebulun, Elitzaphon, son of Parnak. And a leader from the tribe of the children of Issachar, Paltiel, son of Azan. And a leader from the tribe of the children of Asher, Ahihud, son of Shelemi. And a leader from the tribe of the children of Naphtali, Pedael, son of Amahud. These are the ones that Yahweh commanded to divide the inheritance among the children of Israel in the land of Canaan.